Growing up in a small village in Lebanon's Bekaa Valley, Charles Alachi liked to gaze up at the stars in the clear night sky. Perhaps they beckoned to a bright future ahead. After being named Lebanon's top science student, Alachi attended college in France, where he earned degrees in physics and engineering. He then pursued his graduate and doctoral work in electrical sciences at Caltech in Southern California, a place until then he had seen only in the movies. Alachi's studies led to a job at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in 1970, where he embarked on a remarkable career in planetary exploration, Earth observation, and astrophysics. As a research scientist, Dr. Alachi distinguished himself in pioneering the use of radar remote sensing techniques, revealing objects not seen in visible light, such as ancient riverbeds buried under the sand. In the 1980s, he was the science team leader for NASA's two initial shuttle imaging radar missions and a member of the Magellan Imaging Radar Team that mapped Venus. Such accomplishments led to numerous patents and to his election to the National Academy of Engineering in 1989. Since his appointment as JPL's director in 2001, Dr. Alachi has overseen 43 flight missions, with another nine now in the works. JPL's robotic spacecraft have been acclaimed around the globe for providing unprecedented scientific data on the Earth, the solar system, and deep space. Cassini explored Saturn and its moons, while missions such as Deep Impact, Stardust, and Grail penetrated a comet, returned the first samples from a comet, and undertook the first mapping of the moon's gravity. And Dawn last year became the first spacecraft to orbit two different celestial bodies. And then there were those missions to Mars. Four, three, two, start. The landing of the Spirit and Opportunity rovers on opposite sides of Mars in 2004 captivated millions and earned Dr. Alachi and his team a trip to the Laureate's dinner in 2005 to pick up the top prize for space. One of Alachi's favorite memories is being in mission control in the summer of 2012 to watch the Curiosity lander touch down on Mars. No one had ever tried to land a one-ton rover on Mars by lowering it down from a hovering rocket backpack, he recalled. The mission was extremely challenging and daring. A lot of things had to fire properly. They did, and that mission earned JPL yet another space laureate. For his lifetime of service that literally reached for the stars, Aviation Week honors Dr. Charles Alachi.